everyone. Welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to build an AI agent to auto reply on Facebook Messenger. So I am an owner of a digital marketing agency and I receive a lot of inquiries by my potential customers or clients on my Facebook Messenger. Now replying to all these inquiry messages manually is very time consuming and hectic. So what I've done is for this I've simply created an AI agent using Pabli Connect. So how this AI agent works is that as soon as I'm going to receive a new message by the potential customers or clients on my Facebook Messenger, automatically an AI agent is going to generate a reply to the message okay and as the reply is going to be generated automatically that same AI agent is going to send that reply to the same potential customer or client on Facebook Messenger. So if you also want to learn how to create this AI agent for yourself for your business then let me take you to my screen. In this video we're going to learn how to build an AI agent to auto reply on Facebook Messenger. So as an owner of a digital marketing agency, handling client inquiries efficiently is crucial for my business. I use Facebook Messenger to connect with potential clients and answer their queries. However, responding to each messages instantly can be very challenging. To ensure I never miss an opportunity, I use an AI agent that is automatically going to reply to the messages that I receive on my messenger. I use Facebook Messenger to interact with clients and leads, providing them with quick information about my servicing and consultation availability. And I use an AI agent to send personalized reply and accurate responses even when I'm unavailable. This automation helps me to engage with my leads in real time, offer consistent communication and increase my chances of converting inquiries into clients. And I'm going to create this amazing AI agent with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect slash INR slash. As we're going to browse this website, we have to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see all the products that Pabli provides. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on this access now button right over here. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, click on this create workflow button on the top right corner. As we're going to click on it, you can see this dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow over here, I'm going to give it as AI agent to auto reply on Facebook Messenger. So this is the name of my AI agent right over here. And then it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account. From which I'm going to select a specific one in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down. These are the folders from which I'm going to select AI agent automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving the name to the workflow and selecting the folder, I'm going to click on this create button in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created over here in the name of AI agent to auto reply on Facebook Messenger and you can see that there are two windows in front of you. One is the trigger window, other is action window. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means what is action? Action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can only be one trigger step but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first. And for the trigger application over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as Facebook Messenger. And for the trigger event, I'm going to select it as new message sent to page. As whenever a new message is going to be forwarded to my digital marketing page on my Facebook Messenger, automatically the trigger over here is going to capture the response of the message. And then I'm going to click on this connect button to build the connection between Facebook Messenger and Pabli Connect. A window is going to appear in front of you on which click on add new connection or else you can select the existing connection that you already have. After that click on this connect with Facebook messenger button right over here. So window is going to appear in front of you on which we have to continue with the account on which we have created the page. So this is my account. I'm going to click on this continue button. 
as i've done that you can see we have successfully authorized facebook messenger to publicly connect it was very easy for me to authorize my facebook messenger account to publicly connect as i have already logged in to my facebook account on a new tab you have to log in to your facebook account on a new tab so that you can easily build the connection between facebook messenger and publicly connect after that over here it is asking for us to select a page so i've created a page in my facebook account in the name of digital dynamics this is the name of my digital marketing agency and over here i want to connect this page to public connect in this page i received the messages in my facebook messenger account so over here for the page what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for my page that i've created in the name of digital dynamics so i'm going to select the facebook page from this drop down right over here As I'm going to do that, after that I'm going to click on this Save and Send Test Request button after selecting the Facebook page. It is saying waiting for webhook response. So now to check whether Facebook Messenger is connected to Pabli Connect or not, what I'm going to do is from another account I'm going to send a message on the Messenger of my Facebook page right over here. And after sending the message, I'm going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the response of the message. For that, I'm going to log in to the different account in my Facebook. So this is my another account over here, and I'm going to send a message to this Facebook page in the name of Digital Dynamics from a different account. This is the messenger. I'm going to write a message over here as. So this is the message I have. Hey, I want to know about the services that you provide. This is the message. I'm going to send this message over here. As I've done that, this message has now been forwarded and comes over here as sent. As now this message has been forwarded to this Facebook page, I'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down. And yes, you can see over here the response is captured of the new message. This is the ID over here. This is the person that is Jesse Matthew have sent us the message. If I'm going to scroll down over here, you can see this is the message text over here. This is the message that we have entered. Hey, I want to know about the services that you provide. As now the response of the message has been captured in our trigger, this means that Facebook Messenger is connected to Public Connect, and our trigger setup is done. After setting up our trigger step, we are going to set up our action step. As now we have the message over here in our Facebook Messenger, you can see right over here. Now we are going to generate a reply for this message using an AI agent. And for the AI agent over here, I am going to select it as Open AI. An action event over here is going to be Chat GPT. Then I'm going to click on this Connect button. A window is going to appear in front of you. On which click on Add New Connection, or else you can select the existing connection that you have already created. After that, it is asking for us to select a token. With the help of this token, we are going to build the connection between OpenAI and Pabli Connect. In order to generate a token for your OpenAI account, click on this hyperlink given over here in the help desk right here. As you go to click on the hyperlink, you are going to land towards the API key section of your OpenAI page. Now we are going to create a new key. For that, click on this Create New Secret Key button over here. As we are going to do that, the Create New Secret Key window is going to appear in front of you. Give the name to the key. Select the project permission as all. After filling the required details, click on this Create Secret Key button. A key is then going to be generated. Copy that token from here and paste that token right over here in this field. I've already built the connection, so I'm going to select the existing one, and then I'm going to click on this Save button. It is asking for me to select the AI model. For the AI model, from the drop down, select the model that you require. I'm going to use GPT-4 O Mini, so I'm going to select the model over here as GPT-4 O Mini. Then it is asking for the prompt. Using this prompt, we are going to generate a reply to this message right over here. You have to enter the prompt in prompt. You have to enter the details: what is your business, what you provide in your business, and all the other details that you want your AI agent to know before sending messages towards your customers. So I am going to write a very specified prompt over here. Okay. So for the prompt over here, I am going to write it as. So this is the prompt. That is, I am the owner of a digital. marketing agency named digital dynamics providing services like social media marketing search engine optimization pay per click advertising email marketing and website design development we receive numerous inquiries from customers on facebook messenger whenever i receive a message from customer this is the customer name with the content this is the message i want the ai agent to generate a formal and a friendly reply that is clear and easy to understand 
If the AI agent don't know the answer of the question, it should provide our customer support details, the email and the phone number. The AI agent should only provide the reply and nothing else. So you can see over here, this is the prompt in which I specified everything about my agency. With that, I've given the details. If the AI agent doesn't know what to reply, they can provide the details over here as well. Okay. I have written what kind of a message this AI agent should create. And with that over here, it is asking for the customer's name and the message. Now for the data of this field, I'm going to map the data, which is inserting data from the previous step. So I'm going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. How it works is that, that as soon as I'm going to select this customer name, you can see this was the previous response. Over here, we have received the name of the customer who have sent us a message. And I want to generate a reply for this message only. So I'm going to select the data of the customer name from my previous response. After that, for the content, this is a message. I'm going to map the data of the message right over here, okay? Now, as I've selected the data from my previous response for both of these fields, the data is mapped. And as I've mapped the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means now whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data, okay? So this is the prompt right over here. You can also add other details. So I also want to add one other line right over here. So over here, I'm going to write it as... I've entered another line. It is as this is a message do not add best regards and the name of the business in the end. Okay, so this is the exact prompt. After entering the prompt, I'm going to click on the save and send test request button for the AI agent to generate the reply. You can see in the message content, the reply is generated. We are going to see the reply. It says, hi, Jesse, thank you for reaching out as Digital Dynamics. We offer a range of services, including social media marketing, search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising, email marketing, and website design and development. If you have any specific questions or need more details about any of these services, feel free to ask. You can see over here the message is successfully created by my AI agent. As now the message is generated, I want to send this message as a reply to the same customer in my Facebook Messenger. Now, in order to do that, we're going to set up our action step. And for the action application over here, I'm going to select it as Facebook Messenger again. An action event over here is going to be send message. Then I'm going to click on this connect button. A window is going to appear in front of you on which I'm going to select the existing connection as I've built the connection before. But if you want, you can add a new connection. Then I'm going to click on the save button right here. As I've done that over here, you can see we have successfully connected Facebook Messenger to Pably Connect. It is asking for the Facebook page ID. Page ID is going to be entered as entry ID in our previous response. So in this response, I have received this entry ID. I'm going to map the data of this entry ID. Next for the recipient over here, we have received the ID. This is the ID. I'm going to map the data of this ID for the recipient right over here. And the message is going to be the content that is generated by my AI agent. So I'm going to map the data of the content. After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request button right here. Over here, we've received the response, which is a positive response. So over here, I'm going to open my Facebook account again to check whether I have received a reply or not. For that, I'm going to open my Facebook account right now. So this is my Facebook account and you can see over here I have received the message that is hi Jesse, thank you for reaching out. This was the same message that was generated by our AI agent has been forwarded to me. So now let me ask another question in the same chat, okay? I am going to write over here as tell me more about SMM, okay? So this is the message. I am going to send this message right over here. I am going to just wait for a few seconds. I am going to wait for the AI agent to generate the reply. As you can see, the AI agent has sent me the reply. Thank you for reaching out, Jesse. Social media marketing SMM involves using social media platforms to connect with your audience, build brand awareness, and promote products or services. Our service include creating tailored content, managing your social media accounts, engaging with your audience, and running targeted ad campaigns to maximize your reach. If you have any specific questions or need further information, feel free to ask. So now let me ask for the support team details as well. Okay, so I'm going to write over here as give me support team details. Okay, so this is the question. I'm going to send this question over here. And yes, you can see in few seconds, I've received the reply. Thank you for reaching out. 
for support team details feel free to contact us at this email and the number we are here to help okay so you can see i've also received the support team details as well okay so as now this ai agent is successfully working is automatically giving the reply to the messages that i'm going to send to my facebook page this means that this ai agent that we have created with public connect is now successfully working so now to sum up till now what we have done i am an owner of a digital marketing agency and on my facebook messenger i receive a lot of messages from my customers as inquiries i want to reply to all the inquiries but doing that manually was very time consuming so i've created this ai agent over here the trigger is facebook messenger new message sent to page as whenever a new message is going to be forwarded to me by my customer automatically the trigger is going to capture the response action is open ai chat gpt then this response is captured with the help of it automatically this ai agent is going to generate the reply towards the question and as the reply is generated is going to forward that reply back to the customer of send us a message and you can see all the conversations right over here in your messenger okay and these were the replies that was generated by our ai agent so this was it for this video for creating ai agent to auto reply on facebook messenger this was it for this video thank you so much for watching not just with these applications you can create automation between multiple other applications with the help of pably connect if you have any questions you can contact us on support@pably.com if you have any queries you can check the queries on forum.pably.com and if you have any pricing related issues then you can check out this link if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video